So when you're searching for axes on the Axie Marketplace, doesn't it annoy you that you have to install an extension for your browser to see the R1 or R2 traits for breeding? Don't you hate it when the Marketplace won't load axes and then when you refresh the page, all of your filters are reset? I could go on and on about the pain points of using the default search function on the Axie Marketplace, but luckily, there is a tool that you can use to make your searches much more convenient. I'm talking about the Axie Legend EBC Marketplace Search Tool. If you watched my interview with the EBC founders or the Elite Breeders Club founders, you may have heard me mention this particular tool. I've swapped to using this for searching Axies ever since it was introduced to me. The best part about it is you don't even have to download any tool. All you have to do is go on their website. AxiLegend.com and it should take you to this website. Now, the interface is a bit different, but the features are way better. Here on the left, you can see the typical choose the class, and here are the stats that you can choose. But the great thing about it is it actually clicks onto the number that you want. You can just type the number here. Let's say you want 55 speed. You can do that. It doesn't have that annoying uh, clickback function from the default marketplace. And then you can choose the number of breeds. And you can also click on this slider if you want to look for any myst mystic axes. So if you put it at two mystic parts, it will show you all the mystic axes with two parts. Now let's, uh, let's roll it back to zero. And here on the pureness, on the default Axie website, if you click on 5 Pureness, it will only show you all of the Axies with 5 Pureness. But here, uh, you can click on Read View, and it will show you from 5 Pureness and above. So here you can see a 6 Pureness Axie, so it doesn't lock you to a particular number of Pureness. And here you can choose the parts, but it will show you the description. So the best part about this is if you're looking for a particular buff or debuff, like let's say discard a card, it will show you all the cards that has the word discard on. Let's try sleep. You'll see soup, the double top or soothing song. You can write uh, jinx. It will show you the two cards that have jinx on the description. So now let's take a look over here at the filters. Uh, this is exactly the same as the marketplace, lowest price, highest price, and the latest. But there is a bunch of different views that you can use. Number one is the basic view, and I'll show you all the axes in this particular view. You see the stats, you see the price, you see the total attack of all the cards, total defense of all the cards, total energy of all the cards used. And you can see the pureness and all this stuff. You can also change to arena view and it focuses more on the cards. So if you're looking for a particular axie um, with particular skills and you're not too familiar with the skills, uh, this view is great for that. Then there's the breed view. So if you're looking to breed axes, you can see all of their traits here listed. It's easier for you to sort and look through. There's also the breed pro view, which uh, just condenses it and doesn't show the look of the axis, so you have more information with less noise. You can see the stats up here, and the purity, number of breeds, all this. And the complete view is basically combining all of the views together. So here you can see the axis, the stats, the cards, the uh, traits over here, and the price. So if you want to buy a particular Axie, you can click it over here and it will redirect you to the actual Axie website, which you can buy the Axie. But uh, like the Axie Marketplace, sometimes when you click some of the Axies, it's already uh, no longer available from the auction. And sometimes this just really happens in the Marketplace. I guess the best way to showcase this particular website is to just search for a particular axie. So let's look for a immortal plant or the gravel ant tail, the cactus body part, beach, and then you want Bidens. And you also want uh, 
zigzag. That's the mouth. And here you go. But since uh, we're not looking to breed, we can switch on to arena view. And you can just see the cards and the stats over here. So now let's say you wanted a cheaper alternative. Um, let's just say that wooden stab is replaceable. So we can remove cactus and beach. Now you see all of these other cards that you might not really like. So for example, smart shot. You don't want to see smart shot. You can go to advanced over here, enable it. And then you, there's way more filters over here. So let's say you don't want to see smart shot or any of the zero cost cards. You can exclude smart shot. And we saw Kaku, which we can remove. You can also remove uh, watermelons. Watermelon over here. And as you can see, it will remove all of those. And now let's say you want to make it easier. You don't want to type all of the cards that you don't want to see. Let's say you want a card here that does at least 100 damage. So you can filter it by basing it on the number of attack. So 60 plus 30 is 90. And then you want a 100 attack here. So you need 190 attack. Which you can type over here on the left. As you can see, now you have more options on what kind of axe you can buy. That is a substitute. You can do the same for defense as well if you're looking for that. And as you can see, it shows only one page, but you can also do it to make four pages show up at once. And you can just keep scrolling down, 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 down. Makes it way more easier to search for axes. Also, you can, you can also search for the energy function here. So you can put like a minimum of three and a maximum of uh, maximum of four energy. And that would probably remove everything that has two energy. So something like strawberry shortcake won't show up anymore, things like that. So you can play with these battle filters a lot more. All right, let me demonstrate how you would search for a particular breeding type of Axie if you were a breeder. So let's say you want to look for those standard aquas that are uh, Nemo, Miranda, Risky Fish, and Goldfish. We can also change the view to the uh, read, read view. That way you can see the Axie, the stats, and all of the traits. So now here we can do the pureness once again if you're looking for a very pure axie here you go but we can also add the particular breeding search function here on the second page so for example you want something like cute bunny to show up here and it'll show you it'll filter it by all the r1 genes that have cute bunny and the exact same one here so this helps if you want to do some kind of mutation or crossbreeding. You can specifically look for the R1 or R2 trait. So for example, you want um, particularly sponge on the R2. It'll show you the goldfish, goldfish sponge, five pages at once, and it should show more of these axes. There you go. So now you can see sponge can also just filter by the purity. So if, for example, you want it at 97% purity. We can do it that way. It'll show you all the 97 9, and above purity here. So it's up to you what you guys are breeding and you can easily uh, try and search it here using this particular breeding function. So the last function for the for the Axie Legend or the EBC Marketplace search tool is the Ronin search feature. So you can put any Ronin address over here and it will give you a quick peek on the Axies on that particular Ronin address. So I have a particular Ronin wallet saved here. Maybe you can see who it is. Oh, let's remove the filters first. Clear, basic. 
and I'll enter his Ronin address here. And you can see all of his axes over here. I'm pretty sure you guys know who this guy might be. So leave your guesses on the comment section down below on whose Ronin address this could be. And yeah, you can see all of his axes over here. And you can change to the latest. And it will filter you and it'll show you what he is breeding or what he is selling as well. And that's pretty much it for the Axie Legend or EBC Marketplace search tool. They do have a version 2 which you can go to right now with a little bit more features, but it's still in beta. So there might be a little bit more bugs and the older version is a little bit more stable. But you have the option to do it here as well. They have a little bit more functions here which you can use. So guys, stop using the default marketplace tool and start using Axie Legend now. The tool has been so useful to me that I had to showcase it here on my channel. So let me know if you enjoyed this video or if you'll be using Axie Legend in the future for all of your Axie searching. And once again, thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!